Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Elle. And this is IFL Science, here to tell you why absolutely nothing happened from October 5th to October 14th, 1582. The day simply did not take place. The calendar you're used to hasn't been around forever. For example, people in 5 BCE weren't standing around wondering who's this Christ bloke we're all counting down towards. Calendars have changed for political reasons, as well as to better reflect our understanding of the year. Though the Julian calendar had functioned perfectly well as calendars go, there was a problem calculating the date of Easter, which the Council of Nicaea in 325 CE had decided should fall on the first Sunday following the first full moon after the vernal equinox. A few centuries later, it was noticed that the vernal equinox date, set by the council, March 21st, had drifted away from the actual vernal equinox. In order to try and link the calendar up to the solar year, the time it takes for the Earth to revolve around the Sun, the Julian calendar had a leap year every four years, in which an extra day was added. The problem was that since the actual solar year is 365.24 days, the Julian calendar quickly, and by quickly I mean incredibly slowly, gains a day every 314 years. To account for the movement of the equinox and the solstice, it was decided that the world should simply skip days when the Gregorian calendar was introduced. October was chosen by the church to avoid events in the Christian calendar, and after the feast of St. Francis of Assisi, on October 4th, the switch to the Gregorian calendar took place, shooting everybody forwards to October 15th instantly. This didn't only mess with a lot of dinner plans for October 5th through the 14th, the Pope had goofed up, shifting the date by 10 days when it should have been 13. For a time, God knows how long, it must have been a pain to schedule anything internationally, as many countries stuck it out with the Julian, and the calendars continued to drift apart. Later adopters of the Gregorian calendar, the UK, US and Canada, which switched in 1752, had to skip more days, with Turkey losing 13 days across 1926 and 1927. Thank you for watching IFL Science. Subscribe for more science videos.